Hi guys! Today I am back with another crochet tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make these little baby scratch proof mittens. So if you don't know already, newborn babies have itty bitty newborn baby hands. Their little nails are like razor blades, so for the first little while when you've got a newborn, and even with little babies, uh, there's something called a scratch mitt. That's this thing. So these little scratch mitts don't have any thumbs, don't have any fingers, it's just kind of a cover for a newborn baby's hand. And that is what we're going to do today. So for that, we're going to need a couple of things. A four millimeter crochet hook. I'm using an aluminum one. Going to need some sharp scissors and you're also going to need some yarn. Today I'm using white because I feel like white is super cute for baby stuff and it also matches with those baby booties I made in a previous video and they're both being gifted to the same person so I wanted them to match. I am using 100% cotton yarn. Um, also links to everything that I use in this tutorial, will, tutorial excuse me, will be in the description below. So to get started we're going to need a slip knot. For that Create a loop with your thread, hold on to one end with your hand, cross the loop over itself to make an X. With the hand that's not holding the tail, reach through and grab a little bit of that yarn and pull it nice and tight. And that makes your slip knot. That little bit goes onto your hook and then we are going to begin crocheting. So for this pattern we're working in the round and what we're going to do to begin is chain four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch that we did. So we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch after our chain four. So chain four and then insert into that first stitch, wrap around with your uh, yarn, wrap your yarn around the hook and pull through both loops that are on the hook. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and now we're going to do double crochets into that hole. So that hole that we just created by doing the slip stitch, we're going to do double crochets right in there, like this. Insert in, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. And then you can push that as close as you can to that first chain three. And we're going to do that eight more times. So total we're going to want nine double crochets and one chain three. It's going to look like it's ten double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you go, you can pull those stitches around that donut to flatten them out. Eight, nine, and ten. So once you get ten, um, ten total, so that's nine double crochets and your chain three, you'll go to your chain three, the top chain, up here, the one that is attached to the, the following double crochet, we're going to slip stitch through there. So grab that, wrap around, pull through everything on the loop, and now we've got a circle. See? Just like that. Now we're going to work in the round, but we're going to work in half double crochets. So we'll chain one after we've slip stitched them together, and now we're going to do two half double crochets in every double crochet stitch. So that's actually going to begin with the one we just did. By doing a chain one that's going to uh, basically replace your half double. So we're going to wrap around and in that chain right down here, the one that your chain came out of, the one you slip stitched together, we're going to do a half double crochet in there. You wouldn't usually do that, but we're doing two stitches in each stitch, so we, we want to add that extra stitch. Then we're going to do two in the next one. Oops. Half double one, half double two. And we're going to go all the way around. Okay, so once you make it back to the beginning of your um, project, of your round, excuse me, you're going to finish with your last half double and then you're going to get the top chain from that chain one that you did in the previous round, stick your hook in, wrap around, pull through that loop, and pull through the loop that was on your hook, and that's going to join your round. So now we're going to just build up. So that first round created a circle, the second round widened the circle, and now that's as wide as we really need it. So we don't need to put two stitches in each stitch anymore, we just need to put one now. 
So we still need to chain one, and for this pattern, we're going to do several rows without doing any changes. So what we've just completed is that top circle. So we're all the way done until, until right here at this point. So now we're going to do six more rows, just a regular half double crochet with, with no increase and with no doubles, nothing, nothing crazy is going on for this part. So I'm going to wrap around, insert, wrap around, pull through, pull through all three, just all the way around your little circle at this point, but eventually scratch mitt. And just go all the way around and join at with a slip stitch when you get to the beginning of your round. I'm just going to do this round on camera and then I will uh, I'll do the other five rounds off camera. So total right now we're going to have six rounds along with your circle and increase round. So just like that half double crochets. If you don't know how to do a half double crochet, um, that's okay. I do have a playlist with all of the introduction to crochet stitches. So there are crochet stitches for absolute beginners. Uh, in that um, playlist, I have single crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, half double crochet, um, the waffle stitch, the basket weave stitch, the Tunisian stitch, the wave stitch, the shell stitch. There's lots of different stitches in that playlist and um, so you can learn the basics that way before you start getting into projects like this uh, but if you already know that stuff then just follow along and you can definitely figure this one out as long as you've got the basic stitches when you come up to the end of the round and you're on your last stitch you'll wrap around insert wrap around pull through pull through all three and then find the top chain that you made in the previous round and slip stitch together at that chain. You can even see now I'm only, I've only done three rounds and we're already starting to curve up the way that that little scratch mitt does. So now we're three in. One, two, three, four, five more rounds like this. Exactly the same way, no increase, no decrease, nothing crazy is going on. Just remember, when you do your rounds, skip this first bit because that's part of your stitch and go straight into that second one and then just come all the way around with the half double crochet do five more rounds and you can pause the video here while you complete those rounds and um, when you come back I will show you how to create the eyelet holes in order to put your little um, tie for the mitts together Okay, so I've just joined my round and now I'm about to go into the eyelet stage. So these are the eyelets right here and I've just completed this row. So now I've joined them together. I'm going to chain one for the height and then I'm going to do a single crochet right into the hole that the chain came out of right down here like that and then chain two one two skip one half double crochet and do a single crochet in the next stitch just like this single crochet a single crochet into the next stitch and then we're gonna chain one chain two skip that next one and then do two single crochets in the next two stitches there, then chain two, one, two, skip a stitch, go into the stitch after that, do a single crochet, then do a single crochet in the next stitch. Now we're back at the beginning and we're going to slip stitch the first together, just like that, chain one, and then we're going to do single crochets first into the stitch that the chain came out of, just like this. Okay, and now what we're going to do is single crochet into that big eyelet hole, just like that, but just one single crochet into that eyelet, and then single crochet into the next two stitches, and then single crochet once into that eyelet, and then into the next two stitches, and then into the eyelet, just like that. And we're going to go all the way around, and by only putting one 
stitch into that eyelet, we're not going to accidentally increase the size of the mitt. If we put two single crochets in there, then we would end up having a whole bunch of extra stitches that we don't want. Just one single crochet goes into those holes from the two chains before. One single crochet into the eyelet, and then one single crochet into each of the single crochets all the way around. And once we've made it all the way around, like I'm just finishing right now, we're going to, now I'm going to slip stitch together those two rows with the chain as my guide as to where my hook's going. There we go. And then I'm gonna chain just one. And now I'm going to do half double crochets all the way around this row to every single stitch. Don't skip anything, don't do any chains, nothing new, nothing crazy. And believe it or not, this is our last round. Easy peasy little project. So go all the way around with half double crochets, then fasten off. So when you're at the end of your round, come back and I will show you how to create the little chain to put into the eyelets and final assembly. Okay, so I'm just joining that final round with a slip stitch and then I will cut my yarn, wrap around one more time and pull through, pull that nice and tight. And now you can see We've got the basis for the little mitten. You can see these eyelets now, they show up nice and clear, and we've got them all the way around the project. And now we need to make the little tie. What I do for this little tie is I take my crochet hook, make a slip stitch, and chain 50. I like to leave the tail on this a little bit long, and I'll show you why at the end. So just chain 50. Do your best to chain a tight chain. You don't really need it to be loose because we're not working it. Um, so keep it as tight as you can, but chain 50. Once you've done your 50 chains, you can snip off your yarn, wrap around one more time and pull through, and pull that all the way through. Then, what you'll need is a little yarn needle. This is my trick for hiding those ends while keeping the edge looking super cute. Okay, so after you get your yarn needle on, weave the needle around and between all of these chain stitches, maybe five or six chains down. Um, and once you've woven it in, pull the needle through and then pull on your chain. And that way you can trim the yarn down here and your chain's edge is a nice finished edge. And that's it, that's the whole little band. Zoom you out so you can see, that's the whole little tie. And now all we have to do is weave it in and out through those little eyelet holes, just like this, until the little chain makes it to the end. Then you can tie a little knot and create a little bow, and that's it. That's the whole, the whole thing. Then you've got these adorable little scratch mitts. Maybe it'll take you half an hour to make a little pair of these guys. And then you can gift them to somebody who has a newborn in your life. These are a little bit bigger, obviously, than like a brand new baby. As you can see, these fit in my hand. But that's great because it gives them a little space to have air to move around without actually risking them scratching themselves. So these are the easy pair of newborn baby scratch mitts. I hope you liked this pattern. If you did, if you liked this tutorial, let me know in the comments. Um, and check back on Tuesdays and Thursdays, because I do put out a new video every Tuesday and Thursday, so check back for new stuff, like I said, every Tuesday and Thursday. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope we see you in the next one. Bye, guys.